Hi Aquarius, it's Elle here to do um, oracle reading. So let's see what's going on for you. Um, so we're going to ask a few specific questions. Um, thank you God for blessing uh, Aquarius with a clear concise message from you okay so aquarius is that time of year where we give back so um we're gonna have our annual give to the less fortunate drive uh you can donate via amazon wish list or you can uh, make a contribution via gofundme so if you've never given anything to this channel this is the time it doesn't go to me it goes to them it comes from us not just from me from us let the energy the good energy over here exchange to those in need, all right. So let's get into it. All right, let's see. Um, what does uh, a person that Aquarius is coming to this reading for? What do they have to say to the Aquarius? Whomever they're coming to the reading for, what do they have to say? Okay, divorcing. So uh, they could be telling you that they're divorcing, they're letting go of something, they're separating themselves from a person, place, or thing, right. This also could be that somebody uh, feels like you're divorcing them or the idea of, you know, talking to them, being with them, being around them. Okay. Um, separation is just coming up. So they feel like there is separation. The line has been drawn. Either you did it or they did it or somebody drew the line. Um, you're divorcing. So you're in the act of. Okay. So they feel like it's just theatrics with you, Aquarius. So they feel like this is just something that you're doing maybe to get attention, to get a rise out of them. You don't mean it, okay? What you're actively doing is just the theatrics, okay? Um, it's not a, uh, it's not real, and it looks like they might not be taking it serious. Let's see, what else does this person want to tell the Aquarius? You're doing something for the look of it. Maybe you're posting for the look of it. You know, posting little messages, subliminals, or whatever. So this person feels like um, theatrics. They want to tell you resourceful, okay? Um, I heard their resources are telling them that it's the other way around. So they may be going to someone or, you know, or getting like some, they get information from someone else about you maybe. They're resourceful. They're going to, uh, okay. So that they feel like you're using everything to get back at them. Oh, they feel like you're using a lot of different avenues to to get a rise out of them, to get back at them. Um, that you're 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 being resourceful. You're really digging deep on this one. Um, they're also going to other resources, maybe people, places. I don't know. Situate. I don't know. They could be going to trying to gather information on you also. So while they feel like while you're doing these theatrics, they're just uh, I don't know building a case. Um, they're gathering information on you. Uh, they could be going to other people. Um, they they feel like you're using a lot of different avenues to to bug them, to get on their nerves, to make them come out of character. Love. So maybe they love you, or they feel like you love to uh, they, you love the theatrics, or they love the theatrics. Uh, what is love here? God. All right. So. Maybe you love God or this this person is finding like God. God is love. All right. And they, they realize that God loves you. And maybe that's why you're resourceful. You got a lot going on for yourself. This could even be read as if you, you separated from somebody. You started to work on you. Doing a lot of different things. Hands in so many different pots. You are resourceful. You're using what you, you can to get, uh, to get ahead. To do better. You know, maybe they feel like you got... God's blessing on you. Um, okay. So that could be a way. Get in where you fit in. I don't know how it's going to resonate. All right. Last two cards. What it, Thanksgiving could be significant. Uh, maybe they're going to reach out to you on Thanksgiving. They're going to come out of depression or being depressed or depressing their emotions or suppressing. Um, they also want to thank you. They're going to do something to show you that they're grateful for you. Okay? Grateful for the nurturing, the love you gave. They're grateful. 
you know, um, whomever this is. So it looks like that you get a, an apology or maybe a, a token of gratitude. What can Aquarius expect from a person, the person that they're coming to the reading for? What can Aquarius expect from the person that they're coming to the reading for? Okay, um, it just costs too much. Cheating while she's pregnant. Rude, putting others before you. You can expect some honesty. Somebody's going to come to you and tell you that maybe they couldn't make the commitment to you because it cost them too much. Either monetary or energetically. It will cost my marriage. It will cost, you know, if I do divorce, you know, I would have to pay so much. Or um, I didn't know how to lead this lifestyle that I was in. And I didn't know how to go and do something else. I, I'm not as resourceful as you are. I didn't know, um, you know, that I could do something else. Uh, whatever the case was, they feel like um, it just cost too much at that time. So this maybe they start cheating on you, even while they were trying to grow something with you, maintain a relationship with you. They also could be telling you or apologizing that to the fact that they were rude, or they could even be saying that they were in for a rude awakening, or maybe you leaving, or you know while they were putting others before you. You could expect to be getting truth about what somebody was doing and why they didn't have time for you or why they didn't choose you or why they didn't uh, make yeah make the investment in you you could be like realizing or getting some truth about maybe you being a rebound or if not a rebound like you were something to do like somebody was just you know looking at it as just just sex but maybe they may have fallen for you yeah they were looking at it as just sex carnality you know, sex, drugs, image, status, that how that's what they were looking at. That's how they were looking at the relationship, looking at you. It is what it is. That's what they were kind of that's what they were on. But love came out also. And then this card says, I love the way you dress. So somebody may realize that they love the way you put it together. The way you are put together. You know, you're you're the package of you. Uh of course how you look, how you dress, how you act. Um, how you react, um, how you love. They love everything, okay? And they may have fallen in love with you. When they came into the situation, they thought it was just going to be sex, drugs, and rock and roll, you know? And, and then they fell in love with you. Even though they don't, they don't have the capacity to give you what you want. This person could have been... Like in uh, an environment where it's just all about this image, sex, drugs, fun, all of that. And they didn't want to come out of that lifestyle. And they put others before you. But they fell in love with you. What is the advice for Aquarius? No, let's see. What actions will this person take, if any? Let's see. What actions will this specific person so they're going to shout it from the roof, loud mouths, that they don't want to be separated anymore, that this separation hurts. They may tell you exactly how they feel, that they're stuck on you, okay, stoner, they're stuck, they're addicted, they can't get enough of you. This separation put them in a low vibration, in slow motion. Yeah, this separation where there was weeks of no communication. So they may come to you and tell you this. And that they want to be involved in something that's more healthy. Okay, and then maybe they've been eating their veggies. I don't know. They lost weight. But they just oh, they want to be involved in a relationship that is healthy for them, okay? Um and they're trying to save this connection, this marriage, if you will. If they are married, they may be telling you that. You know, hey, we have to stay separated. Even though I'm kind of addicted to you, we got to keep it low key. Maybe that's what they're saying. Yeah, we got to keep it low key. Weeks of no communication. Um, but I still want you, or I'm trying to, you know, show my wife or my husband that I really want my marriage. Um, therefore, uh, we got to keep us low key. This is what some of them could be saying to you. Some of them 
they could be telling you that they want to come back. You know, they, they can't deal with the separation. They thought they could, but you mean more to them. What is the advice for Aquarius? Advice for Aquarius. Advice for, okay. So advice for you. Money is holding me back. Okay, let's see what else. All talk and no action. So, so this person could be telling you all these different excuses as to why they haven't done or why they haven't divorced or why they haven't made the decision, why they haven't left this lifestyle. And they're going to show you that they're all talk and no action. Yeah, um, that they gossip about you or that there has been gossip about you. They've been lying about you, lying about the relationship, lying on you. This is somebody who is not making any moves. The cards want you to know the advice for you is that someone's not making any moves because people are gossiping about them also. They're trying to come with the, the slick wordplay, the magic, so that you stay. The cards want you to know that it's true. Whatever you're thinking about, whatever you thought you, you're confused about, nope, it's true. What else should Aquarius know? Yeah, you're going to see clear. You know, maybe you're getting clear skin. Not even dealing with this person. or um, You're going to see clear now. That this person is just reckless. A live wire. You know, toxic. Unhealthy. Uh, dangerous, if you will. Yeah, and that... You know, this relationship is just a failure or that they're failure or that it's going to fail. What else should advice for Aquarius? Love coming out again. There is love between the two of you. You may love them. They may love you. That love may be toxic or love is not enough to hold you two together. Somebody um, like does maybe like illegal business, illegal dealings. They make their money illegally. You love this person though. Or they love, oh, they love that street life. They love that, you know, they love the thug life. There's maybe no growth here. Maybe you've grown from this. You don't want to be a part of that life anymore. And they just, they're stalking you now. They can't let go. Let's see. What else? Advice. Yeah, now they like you because they're missing you. Okay. They miss your kisses and your hugs. This person is a live wire. As soon as you get back with them, they'll start the same old game, trickery, leaving you, ghosting you, not answering you, not hanging out with you. And as soon as you walk away, they'll be chasing. This is somebody who likes the game. This is somebody who likes your like mothering type of energy, maternal, maternal instincts. Maybe how you, you help them, you, you're willing to help. This is somebody that maybe you have a child with or you will be having a, a child with. What um, archetype card do we want to give? The enchanted map cards that we want to give to Aquarius. A one ring circus. Yeah, so you already know what this person is up to. They know more rings in this circus. You know, and, and this is a circus. They are a clown. They will waste your time. They are here for entertainment purposes only. Um, you need to come into understanding um, and balance with yourself, with God, and know that you can move away from this and stop moving back towards it. You need to be alone at this time. And you just need to heal. This is a one trick pony. Even though they're going to try to come with that. That magic and tell you what you. What, what they think you want to hear. Let's see who you're dealing with. Can we tell Aquarius who they're dealing with? I know some people like to know the signs. Let's see. Saturn. Yeah, this is wisdom. So this was you having to learn a lesson. Lesson. Circle. Circus. Being in some cycle over and over again. Same old thing. You already knew what you were going to get. 
So you had to learn the lesson of break the chain, break the cycle, right? And move on. Take the lesson of this relationship. What did you learn about yourself? What did you learn about people? What did you learn about relationships? What was enlightened to you? If it was just that this person is toxic and karmic, you ain't learned nothing. Neptune, yeah. God. Um, dreams. The subconscious. Self-sacrifice. Maybe you made too much of that. You were sacrificing too much. Um, being confused, you were easily controlled. So it's just like, come out of that. Right? It come into knowing. You can't control somebody that knows. No, I know that you're a liar, that you're a cheat, and that you don't mean me well. So you can't control me. But if I'm still confused, like, oh, he says or she says she loves me. I just don't. Oh, gosh. Yeah, I can be controlled. Now you can manipulate. You can come in and say anything, and then I'll go with. So come into knowing, okay? Mercury, yeah, communication. So you're getting a lot of planets here. Um, let me see where these planets are in your birth chart. Um, words, wisdom, awareness, smarts. Now you're coming into understanding like, look, nah, I'm good. You can't run that game on me anymore. You can't keep me in that one ring circus. You can't keep me doing all of the work. In a circus, there's supposed to be several acts, not one I'm doing all the work. Then you got Jupiter showing up. Yeah, expansion. Now you're understanding that, you know, look, being optimistic, you may even get some type of benevolence that comes into you. Somebody just gives you something because you're in need or this is what you were seeking. This is lectures and this is just positivity, chance, and understanding your true potential. Capricorn. Could be dealing with a Capricorn. Could have it in your chart. You are the boss. Be the authority in this situation. Be rigid and disciplined in dealing with people who have in the past wasted your time. Okay? Character is historical reference over a certain amount of time, over a period of time. So if over a period of time this person played games, lied to you, manipulated you, stole from you, this, that, and the third, why do you think they're changing now? You have to try the spirit. And see if there has been real ch change, okay? See, um, you know, um, if there's been real change. Use wisdom, you know? Apply that knowledge that you have and use wisdom in dealing with these people. And be rigid and disciplined about not going back to, okay? And lastly, what do we have for Aquarius? Mars, take action, okay? Uh... Yeah, take action on what you need to do. Be courageous. It's about strength. Um, it talks about anger also. Release it. You know, it's okay to be angry. It's it's a part of the human emotion. But you don't stay angry. You get angry and then you, you get over it. However that is. But you don't stay angry about it. If you if something happened to you 10 years ago, you talk about it today and it makes you you still get angry, you still get frustrated, then we got some work to do. You know, just do the work. Some of you want to get away from doing the work. You don't want to do the work. I don't want to do the deep dive. I don't want to forgive. I don't want to do it. But I want my soulmate. I want my career. I want my uh, life purpose. No. You're probably not going to get it. I don't know. I'm not God. But, you know, God is God of order. You out of order. Do the deep dive. Yeah, it, it sucks. It hurts. Why? That's all you can ask is why. Could be dealing with Scorpio. I can't make it up. Scorpio is a deep dive, you know, deep into the subconscious, the dark side of the moon, the emotions, okay? Could be dealing with a feminine energy. You got to transform, mutate. This talks about primal, so maybe like, you know, uh, youth, youth, back in your youth, deep, came in, carnal. Some of you were dealing with people you know you have no business dealing with, but they were an escape. And they were kind of like uh, subconsciously a safe place because you had uh, dealt with this type of energy before. You dealt with chaos and drama before. And it was kind of a safe place. You didn't want anybody healed because you weren't healed. You didn't want anybody stable because you weren't stable. You put on the, the jacket of stability. You put on the hat that says 
stability but you really weren't deep down inside you still had some a lot of instability within yourself within your emotions within your life therefore that's what you attract the law of attraction you're going to attract what you really are and it was a safe place for you and now you're awakening to yourself and you're trying to heal and you're trying to walk it out and you're trying so these people aren't necessarily attractive to you right now at this place in this time but it says for you to get what you really want, if you really want that soulmate, if you really want that twin flame, life partners, whatever you want to subscribe to, you're going to have to dive deep. All of us. Not just you. You're really going to have to do the healing work. Stop trying to run from it and keep coming to these readings and meeting new people. Yeah, look, stop asking people if you're going to meet somebody new. If you're an attractive person, you put on some clothes, you smell decent, you go down to the bar, yes, you will meet somebody new. It's practical. It's not spiritual. I mean, it's like asking if if I go to the grocery store, will I buy groceries? I mean, shit, if you're there and you got money, yeah, maybe you will. If you go down to the bar, to the club, to the lounge, and you dress nice and you look halfway decent, somebody might come up to you. You met somebody new. That doesn't mean that that was God or that was spiritual or that this is your person. It just means you in the right place. Practicality. The law of attraction. You probably attracted another toxic individual because you won't do the work. I don't know who I'm talking to. But I don't know. Somebody's spirit is like, this is, I don't know. They're a little bit like frustrated. Like, come on, man. Do the work. Do the work. Do the work. Do the work. Do the work and do the work and heal some more. You thought you healed? Heal some more. Heal some more healing. Oh, you full of healing? Well, here's some more. That's all we got over here is healing. Aquarius, get your own personal reading at the website level. Readings are always on sale. 40% off. Use code 40 off at checkout. All right. Um, Guess what? I'm hosting my first meet and greet here in the Metro Atlanta area. If you want to be a part of that, all you have to do is subscribe to my website to get the details of when and where you can come meet me. We can rub shoulders. We can fellowship. I uh, might even do some mini readings. It's all free. So go ahead and take advantage of that and subscribe to the website because you want to find out when I'm in your city, your town or your country. So go ahead and subscribe. Uh, I am live every Tuesday, Thursday night at 9 30 p.m eastern standard time come every thursday i answer questions for free so come on down um what else do i have yes please donate please donate please donate to the less fortunate please donate to the less fortunate go ahead click that link let the good energy let it pass through all of us Sow your seeds. Do your alms. Be benevolent. You want benevolence to happen to you? Let it start with you. You can give any donation of any amount. You can donate via Amazon wish list, or you can go over um, to GoFundMe and you can donate there. Okay, but please donate, guys. Thank you. Many blessings to you. Take care.